Hey Youpers! Vivian here with a mixed media tutorial using ingredients from Scraps of Darkness's November kit. I am in the midst of trying to repaint this wall in the house as we get ready for in-laws to come for Christmas. And right now it's a crazy sponge painted purple wall. So I was in the uh, paint section of Home Depot and I decided to pick up one of these smaller paint rollers and show you a really quick easy mixed media technique. Um, for this technique, uh, I wrapped that small paint roller with some elastic bands of varying widths and um, I'm going to roll it onto my substrate, which is going to be the packaging from the Scraps of Darkness kit. I'm going to start out using the 3D stamp paint from Viva Decor that came in the kit. This is called Walnut Brown Metallic. So it's got a nice gritty texture to it, a little bit of shimmer and some dimension. And as you can see, lickety split, you've got uh, lots of interesting organic um, patterns that roll on there really quickly. So I think if you were gonna do more traditional um, Christmassy type uh, wrapping for the holidays, I could see this working perfectly just with a gold paint gold on top of the crack. Really, really pretty. Um, but So that was really quick. So if you have like a roll of craft paper that you have from your um, hardware store, you could use this technique on it. I think it would work perfectly fine with any acrylic paint, uh, any of these more textured uh, media that we are introduced through, through Scraps of Darkness, uh, tempera paint, um, the sky's the limit, really. And um, I just want to let you guys know that um, the tighter you wrap those elastic bands, the less the sponge is going to make contact with the substrate. So if you um, wrap the elastic bands a little bit more loosely, you'll have more painted areas with each roll of your paint roller. I added in some um, Jacquard Lumiere Pearl Turquoise Paint, number 571. We get a lot of these Lumiere paints in the kits, and I really like them. They've got a nice shimmer to them, and all of these colors and different products are like liquid gold to me, so I dilute the whatever's left on my mat before it dries up, so I can use it up on um, other pages. I'm using up all of the bags that came in the kit for this month. Uh, and I'm finding that I like the um, subtler colors, the more dilute colors, better than the darker ones for this, my purposes today. And here you can see it a little bit more closely. We got a beautiful large stamp from Deep Red. You can pull, out, pull off that backing and adhere it to the plastic card that's included in the package that comes with this stamp. But it's got lots of detailed line work, so you get a lot of bang for your buck with each impression. I'm going to use it in conjunction with more yummy media that came in the kit. This is called Maya Gold, and it's also from Viva Decor, and it's in this beautiful shimmery aqua, I'm sorry, turquoise. It's the turquoise number 650. I just like to make it a habit to, when I'm not using media that's um, traditionally used with stamps. Um, dye inks, pigment inks, uh, watermark ink. Uh, when I'm not using those things, I try to wash off my stamp as soon as I've finished making the impression or as soon as I'm finished using the, the media, the non-traditional media. This is more like a paint, like an acrylic paint. So I just want to wash off any media as soon as I possibly can so that it doesn't lodge in the crevices of this very detailed stamp because I want to be able to use it for a long time to come. So I will get a baby wipe and just wash it off, like really rub it in there well, um, right after I've finished using it. We got this Dina Wakely stencil as well in the kit this month, and it's got five strips of different patterns using small little circles. Um, they're nice and abstract, and they're all in different patterns. So I'm going to take the dauber that came in the kit and use it in conjunction with the 3D stamp paint. 
I think I mentioned before, it's got a nice little grit and a little bit of dimension to it. So once it's all dry, um, when you run your finger over the um, surface that you've used it on, um, you'll have a nice little tactile experience there. I really liked using this dauber. I haven't used daubers before, um, but when it's full of media like it is at the beginning, I just need to tap it through a little bit. And then um, when I start to run out of media and it's drying up, I can sort of twist it onto my stencil um, to get those last bits of media out of it. So this is for December 2nd of my December daily. I was a little bit hesitant about doing a December daily because what I'm familiar with um, on the web is a lot of folks documenting you know, their kids' enjoyment of the month of December. And um, it's just hubby and me and the furry animals in our house. But my friend Gwen really encouraged me to do it, so I'm going to do it this month. And I'll share with you guys along the way here or on my blog the pages. Um, I'll be sharing some of the pages also on some of my other um, spots on the web. Uh, but my friend Gwen also shared with me some of what she's been doing with her December daily. And she's been collecting um, brown paper bags from various places. We got one, we picked one up at Old Navy the other day that had some cute patterns. She had one from Starbucks. And just the, the way that these brown paper bags feel um, was really enjoyable to me. And I think turning the act of turning the pages in a December daily when these types of pages are interspersed, it becomes a very um, tactile as well as oral, A-U-R-A-L, experience because it's just got a nice crunchy little sound to it. So I'm going to use my December daily to document basically all just the little details of our everyday lives that other people might find mundane um, that are actually very precious to me. So it'll be like um, a month in, in the life of our household. And I'll probably write more detail about um, the title of this page, what its significance is, which is actually pretty funny, um, on my blog once this post goes live. I added some buttons from my stash, some sequins from the kit that I've really wanted for a long time actually, some stickers also from the base kit. Here's a close-up of the stenciling with the 3D stamp paint and the technique that I shared with you guys today that I think is really fun and I hope you'll give it a try. Um, if you're interested in more products from Scraps of Darkness, please visit their website, that's scrapsofdarkness.com. And I'm regularly posting on my blog, and that's contadinak.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.